change. No one likes change, but unfortunately that's just the world that I'm living in. It's actually what the whole world is living in, but to be in the mindset where you don't know who you are, where you're heading, but most of all what's right and wrong is a scary place to be. We all understand change, it's a way of our life and it's all around us every day. The change in weather, the change of seasons, the change of tides. It's a part of life that will always exist and can be for the better or for the worst. Some change I now know is like a ticking time bomb just waiting to explode and destroy everything and anyone in its path. Recently I've been forced to make decisions on a whim and kind of off-the-cuff decisions that everyone dreads making. Are they right? Are they wrong? Who knows? We couldn't run away from them. We've had to make them. The thing about making these decisions is that they're yours. They're no one else's. You call the shots. If they're wrong, then so what? Pick yourself up, re-evaluate and make another one until you find yourself back on that right path again. I spent the last five years dreaming about how I saw my life panning out. But the reality is, my life right now isn't nothing like how I dreamt it. It's easy to get sucked into wanting that perfect life, wanting the materialistic things. We've all been there. But how many of you have actually sat down and looked at what you really want out of this life? I don't mean what car you want to drive next, what holiday destination you want to go to, or how much money you want sitting in your bank. I mean, look deeper than that. Not many people get the chance to sit in their home locked up for four months, surrounded by uncertainty, fear, grief, change, but at the same time have the chance to re-evaluate and make some changes to their life that would open up doors they never thought they could be imaginable. I suppose what I'm trying to say is, it's time to make that change. Grasp what's in front of us and make that move, because right now, it's the only thing we've got to hold on to.